I am Dr. N. K. Venkat Ramana, Chief Neurosurgeon and Director of Neurosciences, Brains Super Speciality Hospital, Lal Bagh, Siddhapura. Twenty second July is the Brain Awareness Day. Uh, in the sense, it's a World Brain Day. Many of us know that there is something called brain, but many do not really recognize its presence till something goes wrong. Brain has evolved tremendously in, a, in human beings compared to rest of the living beings in this world. Human brain has 200 billion neurons. They are the ones which actively generate electrical signals that respond to the entire human body, the internal system as well as to the external uh, system. So the, all the communications, internal as well as external and emergency situations also are communicated through these electrical signals. These billions of neurons have got trillions of connections within them and through them they gather information. But all the information to the human being comes through five sensory organs. That is the eyes, ears, tongue, nose, skin and these are the five sensory organs that gives continuous information about the world to the brain. All this information is received, properly uh, analyzed, organized and then stored and used as memory for the future whenever a similar situation comes and this is how the learning process takes place. Whenever a new thing comes, it goes back to the old memory and if it is not there then you try to restore our the new memory and that is how you keep learning the newer things. Now brain's capacity is phenomenal and none of us are in a position to use the complete capacity of the brain uh, in our lifetime. The amount of uh, abilities the brain has is only 7 to 10 percent of the brain is now being used by the best of the human beings. But at the same time, multitasking is not the uh, ideal thing. The brain is designed in such a way, more focus you have, more efficient it becomes. So multitasking, though people think, can expand the utility of the brain, no that is not the way. You can do multiple things focusing at different times. So that can enhance the brain capacity rather than one can be proficient in a profession. They can learn multiple languages, they can learn music, they can learn other skills, they can have hobbies, they can play sports. So they can have multiple activities but one at a time. So the concept that people think that I am doing multiple things simultaneously can enhance the brain function is a misnomer. So brain has the spread out ability cover is almost like a full size of a newspaper that's the size of the brain which is nicely folded and kept in the brain in the skull cavity and the brain is contained in a very thick bone called skull with a very thick membrane called the dura underneath that there is a fluid called the cerebrospinal fluid and this fluid is floating and keeping the brain safe and secure and is not only a, a soft uh, uh, structure and the fluid is a shock absorber but at the same time it also helps in providing multiple supports to the brain uh, through this fluid which is located inside the brain.